My name is John Russell Kring. I'm an independent filmmaker living in the uh, Troy area. I've been here for almost five years now. My name is Sarah Jekko, and I'm a musician, an actress, and I live in Brooklyn. Spooner is about a girl um, somewhat like me, uh, living with her boyfriend, who is also a musician. They go out and party, I guess, you know, they've been together for a while. It opens up, we see it's not going so well. So it's really the story of June, that's me, going through this realization that she doesn't need to be in this relationship, in this life, in this, she doesn't need to be codependent on him. It's this great, it's a great like moment, you know, that moment in a relationship where you kind of, the day begins one way and it ends another way. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, everything is sort of opened up and changed. And I love, you know, I love short films like that. Uh, it's uh, written by a friend of hers named uh, Daniel Scott Caton. And uh, Sarah and I had worked together on a movie that has been doing really well called Little by Peep and that I cast her in and she was absolutely fabulous. And when she came to me and said, you know, I've got this story and she wanted to produce it. And then uh, Tracy, you know, my wife and I, you know, uh, wanted to go down to Woodstock and Saugerties and that type of thing and shoot it. Probably shouldn't have done it in the middle of winter. It was a, the worst, <laughs> the worst winter storm day. We shot it in New Paltz. Yes. And Every location that we booked uh, was closed. Everybody canceled. <laughs> every no single make it. every single location mm -hmm. canceled, and we still finished it. We yeah. were just like changing things over and over and over and over yeah. again. I think it ended up working out better as a result of it. Whenever you start out uh, on a project, you are looking for inspiration. We all find something, and there were a couple of inspirations, especially for uh, from Tracy that she really wanted to sort of emulate in it. One of them was the Americanized version of Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Mm. Uh, so, and if you'll look at some That's of the right. shots and some of the, the framing, especially uh, the house that we used, had these amazing open windows. Yeah, that tone in the house, I always feel it's different when watching it, the tone in the house than outside of the house. Right. Which would be obvious, but especially because the windows are like in this cage. Right. You know? No, 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 exactly. And then, and then you know, you're escaping through the snow and you're yeah. sort of escaping a a life that yeah. you've sort of realized, you know, that you know that moment that sometimes women have where I don't need to be with this guy. Yeah. <laughs> I could just leave and that would be okay. Right. And right. I would probably be better off for it. The other great thing about the movie to me uh, is that you're writing a song. Yeah, there's a throughout song. it. Mhm. Mm which is really where where the idea came up with when um, the screenplay writer Daniel and I were talking about it. It was a day in the life, but how a song develops too. The song is the thread through it all and how it turns out to be. And it uh, ends up being a song sort of about being okay with breaking up with someone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. even if that's in denial to begin with, because the song is kind of in denial to begin with being okay. <laughs> And then, yeah. by, and then by the end, Tracy was really inspired by, because there's this last very long image where she's laying in bed and mm -hmm. instead of being with, you know, her man, she's with her guitar. Acting got me out of my very, very shy childhood shell. <laughs> Kid City, this musical theater thing. So, and that's how I broke out. But very quickly, I mean, that was musical theater. And so by fifth grade, I was playing piano and then guitar a couple of years later, because I was, you know, angsty. And, Nirvana was popular. <laughs> no, she's yeah. she's an absolute. She teaches music. She yeah. teaches the history of music. She is she is a multi-layered man. She she can do pretty much it all. Once the equipment is, everybody can kind of own the same quality cameras. Everybody can get you know a good set of lights. Then it comes down to the storytelling. It comes down to the idea. A great idea and a great story will always trump pretty much anything else. I'm, I'm very excited about where, uh, where we are right now with independent film. It was an uh, amazing experience because we pretty much shot it, was it? Oh, it was like over a weekend. Yeah, yeah, we, it was. So it was over yeah. a weekend in the middle of like literally one of the worst blizzards I think, you know, I'd, I'd ever seen, where literally we were digging ourselves out of like eight feet of snow, yeah. you know, to get people onto the bus before the end of it. And relationships were born and relationships were lost. And it's everything that, you know, you expect from an independent film. It so, was intense. It was. It was very intense. It's intense and uh, that's where the art comes from.